Hey, this is Tom Nash. Welcome to the Value Investor by Tip Ranks. In today's video, I want to talk about SoFi. SoFi Technologies have been in the news recently. They just got chartered as a bank on January 18th. Feel stuck with your finances? Move your money to SoFi and feel what it's like to get your money right. I jump up on the stage and do my money dance. I throw some money up and watch the money. There's been a lot of buzz about this company. However, in today's video, I want to answer a question I've been asked almost daily. Now, I've been on record saying that in times of inflation, as we are experiencing right now, you want to try companies that are basically inflation proof. And within this group of inflation proof companies, you have a lot of options. One of them is banks. I mean, banks are usually really good for inflation just for the sheer reason that their whole business model is predicated on interest. I mean, they're basically making a margin from, you know, taking money from the public, lending money to the companies and vice versa. And that margin just becomes bigger when the interest rates go up, which usually what happens in time of inflation. Now, we're not going to cover the macroeconomics of why interest rates goes up in times of inflation, but trust me, it does. And banks usually tend to benefit. Now, in the case of SoFi, since they just recently got chartered as a bank and they are a fintech, a financial technology company, a lot of people have been asking me, well, Tom, does this mean we should be looking at SoFi as one of those inflation-proof stocks? Okay, so let's go right to it. First, I don't know, Anthony, if people realize what a big deal this is. I mean, I couldn't just go to, to the Fed or the government and say, listen, I want to be a bank, right? It's, it doesn't work like that. No, it's a, it's a very arduous process. The bar is really high. Um, getting over the bar and being granted the license to open a bank is a huge milestone for us as a company. We'll to serve our members much better. Our goal is to be a one-stop shop for all your financial needs, to be there for all the major financial decisions you make and all the days in between. And this license will allow us to do that in an even more differentiated way. So even though I'm extremely bullish on the company, I love their management, I love the new CEO, I love the business model, I absolutely love the 90% year-over-year -year growth, I don't love their suitability as an inflation-proof stock. And I'll explain now why. Now, this company took a lot of beatings over the past year, down 45%. The problem is that the market is kind of agreeing with me. This is not really an inflation-proof stock, even though it's a great company and a good investment long-term, in my personal opinion. But here's the problem. When you're looking at inflation-proof stocks, you're looking for a company that can justify three items in order to be qualified as such. You need a company that's able to withstand pressures not to raise prices. Basically, a company with pricing power because in inflation, things become more expensive. Supply chains are more expensive. Salaries are more expensive. So you got to be able to charge more for your services or products without getting people to move and go over to the competitors. You have to have brand loyalty. Now, Apple is a fine example of that. Tesla is another example of that. In this business, with its razor-thin margins, SoFi does not have that brand loyalty. Their main business is lending. Over 80% of their business is lending. It's not really the financial services or the technological platform. They're a lender. And in lending, interest rates and basically terms is everything. And if anybody can give you a better deal, you're not really staying loyal. It's not like buying an iPhone or Tesla. There's not enough loyalty there. The margins are already razor thin. So there's going to be a lot of impact based on inflationary pressures that will not allow SoFi to increase prices in the short term and keep their business. Now, as it stands right now, it does not meet that term. But there's other two terms that we have to talk about. Number two is I want to see a company with a healthy balance sheet, meaning that it doesn't have a lot of debt on the books because in times of inflation, capital becomes more expensive. And unfortunately, SoFi has a lot of debt, $3 billion in debt. It's a lot of debt on the books, and as inflation and interest rates go up, their debt will become more expensive, especially, and that is condition number three, especially because they don't meet my third condition, which is cash flow positivity. The company isn't cash flow positive. In fact, in the past 12 months, they burned through $415 million. So they're not cash flow positive. They're not generating cash. They're obviously going to need to borrow more money. That borrowing is going to cost them way more than it does right now because the weighted average cost of capital will go up as interest rates go up. So unfortunately, this company, even though it's insanely interesting as far as the growth story, and I do believe in its future, for the next six months, I believe it's going to get battered along with the growth stocks because it doesn't meet the criteria. And the bank charter might change this, but it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take a long time for SoFi to become 
what behaves like a bank, like a Wells Fargo or a JPM or whatever, it's going to take time to transition into this sort of brand loyalty that they just don't have right now. And it's not like that bank charter gives them that overnight. So my conclusion is I am still bullish, but not as an inflation proof stock. However, if you want to see other opinions, go right ahead, go to the tip ranks homepage and click SoFi. You'll find out that the current price is over $20. So people in the industry, especially good ones, see about 80% upside of this company. And I tend to agree long term. I don't believe that this is going to happen in the next six months. I think long term, this company is going to do very well. But right now, Unfortunately, I can't include it as an inflation-proof stock. Let me know below if you have any questions, if you want me to do more companies like that, if you have specific questions about SoFi, let us know below. We'll do our best to answer. We'll see you in the next video.